Happy Thursday traders! This is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Alright, we got a little bit of a pause yesterday. Stocks actually had their worst day in two months on Wednesday. The Dow Jones even fell 0.5% and Boeing con was contributing the most, falling 2.8% after its business so declines in revenue compared to last year, largely due to $329 million in cost due to production problems of the aerial refueling tanker. The S&P also had its worst day since September. Ship Hotel Mexican Grill CMG was the biggest decliner there, dropping more than 14.5% after its quarterly results missed completely the mark. Also AMD from the technology sector saw its shares drop 13.5%. The company said it expects a drop in revenue for the current quarter and, and the investors just couldn't hear that, sending the stock lower all the day. We had a couple of great trading op opportunities on this cute one. Uh, just take a look on this reversal. We shorted it after the stock retraced a little bit from the low but gave up just below the round number $13. The minute it went below the VOP, the volume weighted average price, we shorted it with a tiny stop of about 10 cents just above the round number which defines the risk on the straight 10 cents only. It finished the day 60 cents in our favor. This is a great risk to reward ratio. While the bulls managed to push prices off the worst levels, they couldn't erase the sense that the long delayed correction could be underway for stocks. All right, trade of the day. IPOs are one of the most thrilling and promising financial phenomena available on the stock exchange for individual traders. They, they often produce once in a lifetime opportunities for big profits for the little guy who buys a stake in the stock of a new company fresh off the delivery room. There is so much profit for individual traders to take from IPOs and maybe the only downside is we don't get enough of them. If IPOs were the music of life, give me more of them. Case in point, ABLX, which was featured in this video yesterday. This is a pharmaceutical company from Belgium that started its life in Wall Street yesterday. And as I teach my traders in our top trader course for advanced trading, there are six conditions an IPO must pass in order for us to trade it. But once it passes them, you can spread your smile all over your face because there are good chances it's going to be big. Let's take a look on that IPO and how I traded it. I waited for the second five minute bar to play and after it was completed and the stock got all six check marks in place, I uh, made, I sent a buy order above the high. Looking on the chart now, it seems quite easy from about $18.5 per share, the stock rocketed to the outer space with almost 30% in gains by the end of the day, but it wasn't so easy. Just look how in the first 20 minutes, the stock went side away and actually stretched our nerves to the edge. I took my first partial profit here at around $21 uh, dollars for about two and a half dollars per share and then the last half as I uh, as I direct my traders I sold at the end of the day of course I can't wait for today's IPO and for uh, those IPOs set to debut on Friday So today we are going to be focused on two IPOs. First of all, BP Midstream Partners, BPMP. This is the symbol based in Houston. It operates pipelines and other midstream assets. The more interesting one is National Vision Holding, IEYE, based in Georgia. This is one of the largest optical retailers in the United States. And right now the company operates 980 optical retail stores across five brands 
and 19 consumer websites. After the closing bell, the earnings season is heating up with key earnings from Amazon, Microsoft, Intel, Google, you name it, among dozens of other companies. So far, earning news and news in general, you know, hasn't affected the market much. Let's see if that is going to change. If the market can be, it can show a little bit more emotion, can be a little bit more emotional, the odds will be higher. We are in a topping process. Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.